Almost one-third of America's 800 bird species are dying out or are otherwise endangered. This is the alarming conclusion of a comprehensive report by the U.S. Interior Department unveiled at a recent news conference. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar characterized the report as a wake-up call. This report is uh, the canary in the coal mine of the status of our bird population. He was referring to the old-time practice of coal miners using a caged canary to detect toxic gases. If the bird died, it signaled an immediate evacuation. Similarly, the decline of U.S. bird species underscored by this report is being viewed as a signal of even greater threats to the environment. John Flicker heads the National Audubon Society. The message is clear. We're losing habitat at an alarming rate, and climate change is threatening the future of our planet. The study points to climate change, habitat loss, and the introduction of invasive species as among the main factors causing the decline. It said this is especially evident in the state of Hawaii, where more birds are in danger of extinction than anywhere else in the United States. John Fitzpatrick heads the Cornell University Laboratory of Ornithology. Hawaii is borderline ecological disaster. Fitzpatrick referred to the finding that nearly 40 percent of Hawaii's birds, mostly those known as seabirds, are declining at alarming rates. Many bird species have not been seen for 40 years and could be extinct. The report says the birds that remain face threats from pollution, overfishing, and warming sea temperatures. Besides habitat loss and climate change, birds face other dangers, including man-made structures such as communication towers and glass buildings, logging and invasive species such as rats in Hawaii and predators like cats. Pesticides pose a special threat, says Dan Schrader, president of the American Bird Conservancy. While many of the most harmful pesticides that birds have been banned or restricted in the United States, a few remain on the market. And many pesticides that are banned here are still used in other countries, poisoning our, our migrant birds where they winter. All the experts agreed that conservation efforts work and it is not too late to save declining species. Secretary of Interior Ken Salazar. This report uh, should be a call to action, uh, but it is action that is within our reach. And uh, when we move forward with a new uh, ethic of conservation, uh, we will be able to move forward to restore the bird populations. Birds such as the bold eagle, the whooping crane, and peregrine falcon are examples that conservation efforts do work. Once in critically low numbers, these bird species have recovered and are now thriving. For producer Zulima Palacio, this is Julia Ritchie, VOA News.